are the god on the video. Absolutely I've not. Seen I'm you. John. Nice, Hi, to John. Nice to meet you. I'm Ann Walker. I'm the project lead for this build for Habitat for Humanity. Um, I work with a small team. Uh, we have local teams, so we have a Randolph building team, and right now that's comprised of myself, uh, an architect, Neil, and two building supervisor slash crew leaders, uh, Neil and Ken. We're building a really wonderful high performance house. Uh, we're using a lot of uh, interesting building science products to help us achieve a really high level of energy efficiency. Uh, we're working with the state uh, with, the ener uh, with Efficiency Vermont to help us make sure we meet the, the guidelines to achieve that level of efficiency. Uh, so we're very fortunate because it's a very tight team. We work really well together. We've got some overlapping skills, so that helps. Yeah, so how did I get here? So I started life out as an engineer and then uh, got into uh, software and uh, software consulting and, uh, and project managing large projects and whatnot. But when we were starting out, uh, my husband and I were uh, just totally impoverished and uh, we bought a little house and our little story is that I, you know, he bought the ranch and I bought the colonial and within a year, in our early 20s, not knowing what we were doing at all, we had the roof off, we put a second floor on. It took us a couple years to finish, uh, but then sort of that, you know, that was the bug that bit us and we've been remodeling houses ever since. So when we push down, we always push down on the flat area. Thirty-five and seven eight. Eight from up there. So right here, you'll notice that's where your OSB or your plywood's coming up into the wall, and that's always a hard area to seal up. So we want to make sure we get that. We're going to drive nails and stuff back through here, so we want to make sure that we get that. So that's why we do three. So these two are basically for air seat. So still goes in first. Uh, yeah. Uh, Good nails? We don't need a nail yet. Make sure it pulls in tight. Now the ceiling's there. It'll stay there until we nail it. We'll kind of square everything up. We'll go to the floor. Twelve inches. I try to keep something within two inches of every corner. Go ahead and you can put your nails in it first or whatever. Pull it back tight up against the house. See how you've got that little bit of movement. Make sure you got it pulled up tight against the house. Hi, I'm Jen Sievert. I work for Efficiency Vermont, and we have been asked by Habitat for Community to help them with this project. Um, they sent us a copy of the plans early. Neil sent me what he had in mind. There was a lot of back and forth between the two of us and the building committee about what they wanted to accomplish. There's price to worry about and all of that. So we came to uh, an agreement of the best wall that will work for them, that can be used by do-it-yourselfers, so to speak, the volunteers. There was a whole bunch of people standing around a jackhammer. And they were all volunteers, and nobody could figure out how to use a jackhammer. So I grabbed the jackhammer, and that's how I started at Habitat. You're making me work fast on that. Guys. I'm doing the best job I can being a supervisor. Oh, you're really, you're holding that wall up really well. I'm making sure that you're squeezing that evenly. Wow, oh, right, huh? How am I doing? So far, so good. Okay, right the best, the best part about working with Habitat. The best part is is the uh, the families that are. But the other best part is all the nice people you meet that come and volunteer that you wouldn't meet otherwise. I've been helping since the end of June. 
after I found out I got picked. I have one, it just turned 11 yesterday, and I have one that is 13 and a half. And so while we had hashed out the plans early on, then we had to make sure that the folks who were on site understood what we were going for and understood the different process, making sure layers were put on in the proper way and that they paid attention to certain details. I worked for Saxonville, yeah. Uh, I was a manager of a, uh, a warehouse down here in Royalton. We sold hardwood plywood, hardwood lumber, hardware to cabinet makers and uh, yeah. furniture manufacturers. I did that for 35 years. So. All right, your right hand side has to come up a little bit. When when we started putting the the ins, insulated sheeting on the outside, you know they're like, oh, man, now do we what are we gonna do with the windows? So the thermal bucket takes yeah, care so of that. It takes care of that problem. So of how do we make sure that we are able to create a thermal break here at the window and still have things line up? Contractors when we introduce them to a new product that's on the market, they often ask, well, how easy is it to use? And, they all have, you know, some some hesitation. So at least with this experience, different contractors here, we've got more than just one builder on site. They can all, I can say they all said, yeah, this is great, this is easy. So I started off with um, the uh, Habitat uh, uh, group here. I was new to the Habitat group and we needed to have a house designed quick. We couldn't do a passive house here because we didn't have any sunshine. The uh, sun to the south is blocked by trees. And uh, we, it just wasn't going to work. But uh, we could do high performance, and so that was our target to shoot. For. I was surprised that um, uh, how fast the stuff would go up. You never know until you actually do it yourself. Uh, or with the crew here, but once you're shown how to do it, it goes up really fast. Okay, in. okay so then just close the window, and you'll know if they're in if they go in. So if you push that up, they should be inside that. If you open that up, it's just real quick. It's been a great crew to work with. It's been a pleasure with the uh, having a lot of uh, very skilled people to, uh, to, as part of the crew, so it, it's been a lot of fun. We, we don't refer to them as twilight years. <laughs> this is the time, time of our life. Um, the thermal buck product just turned out to be a, a, a much easier approach to trying to seal our windows and, uh, and also the added benefit, benefit of providing a thermal break. Otherwise, we would have to build these out manually um, you know, using plywood, and, and you're creating, you know, a, a thermal uh, conduit when you're doing that. And with the thermal buck, it's you know, it's rigid, it's structural, it's just you know, pop it in, and we don't have to do anything else. It's not that fussy, and you can get it in you know the prescribed depths that you need it in. So it was really much, much easier and much faster than having to manually go around and build out these uh, you know, plywood bucking to get these windows to be the depth that we needed it to accept and be aligned with our foam. And this is just much more precise and much more forgiving. And the added benefit of you know creating that thermal barrier. So you're doing a couple things at, at once there. And now we're going to seal it up to the foam. And now that window opening is going to be even much more energy efficient than it would just be by itself. Eventually, the goal is that all the habitat projects built in Vermont um, are built to what we call our high performance home standard and um, will be basically net zero energy ready. So if they have the opportunity to put solar on, they can bring their house down to zero energy requirements. Uh, the solar will take care of it. There's the support of a lot of the 
the pokeset habitat. We're getting there.